sound as a longitudinal wave. For a sound wave traveling through air, the vibration of the particles are best described as longitudinal. Longitudinal waves are waves in which the motion of the individual particles of the medium is in a direction that is parallel to the direction of energy transport or wave propagation. A longitudinal wave can be created in a slinky if the slinky is stretched out in a horizontal direction and the first coils of the slinky are vibrated horizontally. Sound waves in air and any fluid medium are longitudinal waves because particles of the medium through which the sound is transported vibrate parallel to the direction that the sound wave moves. The result of such longitudinal vibrations is the creation of compressions C and refractions R within the air. Absorption of sound The absence of an echo means the sound waves are absorbed and not reflected back. The controlling of echoes in a building is called acoustics. When a sound wave strikes on one of the surfaces of a room, some of the sound energy is reflected back into the room and some penetrates the surface. Parts of sound wave energy are absorbed by conversion to heat energy in the material, while the rest is transmitted through. Sound energy is absorbed by acoustically soft materials that sound waves encounter. An open window is an example of 100% round absorption, that is, no reflection, whereas bathrooms have hard reflecting surfaces and therefore very low sound absorption properties. Sonar, an application of echo. The property of reflection of sound is utilized in sonar, sound navigation and ranging, which produces and receives ultrasonic waves after reflection from an obstacle. It is used in ships, submarines, etc. to measure the depth of the sea. Let the distance between ship and obstacle be Y. Time taken to cover total distance 2y is t. Speed s is equal to 2y upon t. Hence, y is equal to s into t by 2. Here, s is the speed of sound in seawater, which is 1560 meter per second. Characteristics of sound The sound has these characteristics. 1. Loudness, intensity. 2. Pitch. 3. Quality, timber. Loudness, intensity. It is the characteristic by which a loud sound can be differentiated with faint sound. The loudness of sound depends on amplitude. If the amplitude is high, the sound will be louder, otherwise it will be a faint one. It also depends on the distance between source and observer, surface area of the vibrating body, density of the medium, and presence of resonant bodies. The figure, A, represents loud sound because its amplitude is higher. Pitch, it is the characteristic of sound which distinguishes a shrill sound from a flat sound. Pitch depends upon frequency of sound. If the frequency is high, pitch is also high. That is why female voice is shriller than a man's voice. The figure B represents high pitch because of high frequency. Quality timber It is the characteristic which differentiates between sounds produced by two instruments having same pitch and loudness. Example, sound produced by guitar and sitar and also sound produced by dholak and tabla are different. We can easily differentiate different sounds of two instruments without seeing them because different instruments have different quality of sound. Sound quality is called timber. Do you know sound can travel through solids, liquids or gases. It cannot travel through a vacuum because there are no particles to vibrate and carry sound waves.